if you live in a city and you go to a municipal treatment, essentially the same thing happens as a household septic, is all that sludge is uh, tree, uh, captured uh, or filtered um, and everything that's within it from toilet paper to uh, to the fibers that come out of your laundry are retained within the sludge or the kind of the waste product from the treatment process. Um, some of the fibers depending on the wastewater treatment technology do escape and go directly into our waterways like a, a river, a creek, or a wetland. Most municipal systems discharge right into a surface water. And so depending on how efficient they are at cleaning the water, you could have 5% or 50% of the fibers that come into the plant actually just leave right into directly into the water. Going back to the sludge disposal, um, again, just like a septic system, you're gonna have uh, a sludge buildup. It's concentrated with a lot of different stuff, but um, there are a high percentage of fibers that are in that sludge. The most common way to dispose of that is land application. And then basically what we're doing is we're just concentrating all these fibers and we're spreading them on fields to be used as a fertilizer supplement. Um, the byproduct that that stays there is the synthetic materials that don't degrade and so we're uh, you know the soil is then contaminated with yes. with all those materials. <laughs>